Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today I am checking out this song that uh, Andrew in my Discord, one of the Andrews, because I know there are at least two, um, <laughs> Andrew recommended. Uh, this song, I know nothing about any of this. He just said to recommend, or he recommended it to me and just said to check it out. And he has joined the tier that lets you recommend a song to me, and I will make a dedicated video on it. So that's what this is. So if you are interested in such a tier on my Patreon, go ahead over to patreon.com slash Clip. Check out the different benefits, the different tiers. There's some cool stuff going on. Also, I will have a new announcement coming soon. I don't know when. But there will be an added bonus to the $10 tier on Patreon that might be interesting for some people. And as of now, only one person knows about it. Marius, you know about it if you're watching this video. But it's something that I think some people will be interested in because it has to do with the reason that people like what I do in the first place. At least I think. But, okay, enough about that kind of stuff. Let me get into this. All right, this song, and all I can say is Hostile Contact. Featuring tulpas. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what is in store for me here. So at the very least, this should be an interesting insight to a band that only has 1k subs on YouTube. Let me check how many monthly listens they've got. 3,525 monthly listeners. That's pretty small. It should be interesting. Let's see how good they are. They got Stevie Bridgers on guitar. <laughs> Who's doing vocals? Ooh. With the... With the loot? With the mandolin? Is that a mandolin or a lute? I've, I forgot. With the, no. The violin and the bass? Oh. <laughs> They don't got no heads on that guitar. This is so weird. Don't end! No! No! I I need I need more! I need more! I need more! Uh yeah, who um okay this guy's playing like a pan flute or something. Let me listen to this. Just for fun. This is what I'm talking about when I say bands need to Try some new things. Throw some other instruments in here. You got Trelawney on the pan flute. Oh, it's so eerie.
so weird is that is that just part of a song this is very strange all right someone tell me what's going on here because it looks like they're putting out little snippets of song and then they have i don't know the couple little full-length songs this is weird this goes so hard though it, it's it's so interesting having these unconventional for metal instruments in the music it adds so much i think where was that Oh, dude. Okay, uh, I think this is a lute, because lutes are usually bigger than mandolins, and I think the lutes are the ones that had the bent necks like that. So, really interesting use of instrumentals here. You can hear that in the background. And then when, dude, when the bass comes in... Ah! Uh, the bass adds such a, a chunky overall tone to it. And you hear that It's real rumbly. Like having an actual upright bass in a metal song, that's so cool. It has such an awesome tone. There is this reminds me of something that I I taught to some of my students a while ago. I'm trying let me try to remember the name of the instrument. Yeah, this one, this one right here, this is, this is what I remember. The Bode Liar. The sound of this instrument is one of my favorite sounds of any instrument that has ever existed. And I think it's mostly due to the... I mean, it, it, I don't think it is. It is due to the shape of it and the way you play it. You see, it's not like a traditional string instrument with uh, the fingerboard and everything that you would play here or whatever. It's just open, and there's no hollow body to it, or at least not as much as a bass or a violin or some other stringed instrument. It's just that. It's more... It's more raw. It's more Viking, you know? <laughs> it's got that kind of vibe to it. And then you just kind of like... Press the strings in midair. You don't push them against a fingerboard. It sounds so cool. But that's what this reminded me of. It reminded me of that sound. That's so cool. Tell me more about this group, if anybody knows. I'm sure Andrew probably does, but tell me more about what their deal is, what their history is. Why they have like two two minute song snippets on their YouTube channel? Because they could blow up, they could get big. This is very unique. I love it. All right, cool. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out my socials in the description. Thank you again to Andrew for recommending this. I love discovering new music, new bands, new sounds in metal, new all this stuff through this channel. So thank you to everyone who has supported me over the past few months of me doing this. And yeah, I'll, I'll catch you all later. Have a good day. Peace out. Bye.